Hello and welcome to Noctua Day. This is the first episode of my Mothtrap monthly series. The goal of this series is to provide information and facts about moths found during each month, with this episode being about March. Now, the number of species I've seen in March in total is only around 7, however that's to be expected this early in the year. The amount of species I get will only grow in the coming months though. So, without further ado, here are some of the moths of March. Now, let's start off with a moth that really lives up to its name, the common Quaker. This species is common throughout most of Britain, apart from the most northern parts, and flies in spring from March to May. The most abundant in woodland, although can also be found in gardens and other lowland habitats. As well as showing videos of these species, I'll also show photographs of them, to give a better view with more detail. I'll also do this to show any variation of a single species that I encounter during the month. Next up, we have another common moth species, the Hebrew character. Flying from March to May in the south of Britain, but from April to June in the north, this species can be found throughout Britain during its flight periods. Their name refers to the markings on the wings, which resemble the 14th letter of the Hebrew alphabet. This individual is quite well marked. The species can vary from being very pale to quite rich in colour. This species is an early grey, a common moth of spring. Flying from March to May throughout Britain, it is found mainly in woodland, gardens and hedgerows. As you can see, this individual has pink on it, despite its name. The amount of pink on individuals can vary, from a lot, as is the case with this individual, to just a hint, to none at all, this individual suiting its name better. Another common species of spring, this is the clouded trab. Like most of the previous species, this one also flies from March to May, and it's also found throughout Britain, being most abundant in woodlands, although it is found in gardens as well. Apologies about the shakiness of the previous footage. This is the only video of a clouded drab that I have. Unusually, this is the only individual of the species that I have seen all month, which is unfortunate as these are quite a variable species. Named after its size, with it being one of the smaller Quaker species, the small Quaker is a common moth which flies slightly earlier than its larger relative, the common Quaker, flying from late February to May. They're mainly found in woodland, wet heathland, and occasionally gardens. This well-marked individual is a nut tree tussock, a common moth found throughout Britain. In the south, it has two flight seasons compared to just one in the north. This one is actually a little early, as its flight seasons are mainly April to May, and again in July to August. So expect to see this species again in later episodes. You're most likely to see the males, as the females rarely come to light. This species is found in broad-leaved woodland. The species has a few different forms, ranging from more pale to darker. Hopefully, I'll be able to show these in later episodes. Finally, this is a brindled beauty. Like the nut tree tussock, you're most likely to see the male of this species, as the female rarely comes to light. Also like the previous species, this one is found in broad-leaved woodland, but also in places like scrub, gardens and hedgerows. They fly from March to May and are found throughout Britain, albeit more common in the south, but scarcer in the north. As its name suggests, this species has brindled markings, with a brown abdomen and striped wings. So, these are all the moth species I've encountered during March. I hope you found this video interesting and enjoyed it. If so, subscribing or liking the video would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching and goodbye.